This is a 30 minute heavy bag workout. We're gonna work there on this one. We're gonna go through this session. It's not programmed. The design of this is honestly just to get you guys moving, breathing a little bit heavy, do some light conditioning between rounds as we rest. We're gonna do a three minute round, a one minute rest, and that's how we go for 30 minutes. In 30 seconds, we're going, you wanna join me, let's go, have, let's have some work. Let's put in some work, let's have some fun doing so. Loosen up the arms a little bit. Walk around. Up above the head. Core's tight. Let's go. That bag, easy jabs. Easy work. Work the number one, jabs. Easy footwork, don't be all erratic. We don't need to do that. Double up your jab. Full range on both. That front foot, just tap with the toe a little bit. Keep this rear hand high. Give me two slips after, double jab, slip, slip. You throw more jabs than any other combo or any other punch in boxing. Most of the time. Throw a two, a number two is across, easy. Easy work. Add in the lead hook, two, three. So it's across, lead hook, 50% intensity, 50%. When you throw this lead hook, again, make it smooth. Don't over rotate. When you throw the right hand, don't shorten up, let it go. Lead uppercut. Number five, lead uppercut. Scrape the bag, or if you're shadow boxing, right there. Rear uppercut, so it's a five, six. Thirty seconds. Now work one, two, three, two, jab, cross, hook, cross, so one punch per side. Back to back. So it goes one punch, one punch, one punch, one punch. One, two, three, two, and move. Good, round number one done. What we're gonna do for round number two, your first real round, is we're gonna work a double jab right hand. We'll do that for one minute. But again, work at a, an intensity that's gonna get your heart rate up. We're gonna do footwork around the bag for 30 seconds and we'll continue to do that off of combination, build off that com combination, that one, one, two, throughout the round, okay? So the first one will be one, one, two, one, one, two. At a pace that's going to elevate. Uncomfortable, all right? And then it's footwork around the bag. Easy work when you're moving around the bag, nice and everything stays in order. So jab, jab, cross. 
You can step and move. We do that for one minute. Let's go. Okay, get that heart rate elevated. Jab, jab, cross. Twenty seconds. One more. Good. Footwork. Move on the back. We're gonna put this here. Move around, move around. 30 seconds. One, one, two, one minute. Let's go. Jab, jab, cross. Add the lead hook. One, one, two, three. Let's go. Jab, jab, cross. Lead hook. Get that heart rate elevated. Ten seconds. Move footwork. Let's go. Move around. Move around. We're gonna do a little burner here. We want you to throw four to the body, four straight to the head. A little extra, right? Let's go. Controlled. This is for 30 seconds. Two more. Last one. Rest. One minute. Again, guys, breathe as you recover. Let's see what you guys are saying. Jeff Burr, what's up, brother? Thanks, John. We're going to keep throwing awesome combinations. Again, recover. We're going to work the jab rear cross body or cross to the body. Right there. But the cross of the body is designed to be super fast. Okay? You have to really go for it. Make noise. Let the people, let's go. Jab to the head, cross to the body. What? Work. Move around. You don't want to lean into the bag like this. I just did a short on this. I'll release it tomorrow. Where you release, it's called the how to throw across to the body. 
You don't want to bring the body all the way forward like this. You want to create distance, get in, drop the level, be prepared to throw something else after with balance. It's going to be crispy. Smooth. Move on the back. Now, one, two to the body, and then a two to the head. The two to the head forces you to stay strong on your legs. It also keeps you honest that you're not pulling back too far from the bag to throw that second shot. Then move. Right? That's how it's done. Take your time. If you feel like you need to take a breath, shake your arms out, bounce. We're ready to go back at it. See, I threw it and it went like this. No good. That's what we want. Now, one, two, one, two, three, two. Jab, cross, jab, cross. So cross, move, let's go. Move. The last three, two is speed and power. Work with the bag. Good work, guys. We rolling. Next, coming up in one minute. Roll your shoulders. Breathe. Don't worry, guys. We got some time. Remember, you can do this workout anytime you want. For fight shape, which are the absolute best heavy bag workouts ever. Fight shape, best workouts ever. Five, four, three. Let's go. Inside, want to work a lead hook to the body off of a one, two and throw the hook to the body and move. This is a combination everyone needs to Now, what you're going to do is paw your jab like this to make sure you're at distance and then step in bah, 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 and paw your jab again, okay? So the goal is that you create the distance Unleash power. Nobody wants that. Hands up. Move your head. Now double up that hook to the body. So it's a paw, change, ba, ba, boom, boom, okay? If it's the first one, you won't miss the second. Let's 
So for those of you who think add sounds to my video, come on. <laughs> I do not. I don't have time for that. Now, when I say go, I want you to throw a fat rear cross. You're here. When I say go, let this right hand go at speed. Let's go. Paw at the jab. Go. 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 Now lead hook. When I say go, throw a lead hook. Go. 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 There you go. We're moving well, guys. Good job. We got we still about 20 minutes. Left. Variety is everything, right? Guys, I dropped a lot of people with the lead hook. That was the punch. The lead hook and the overhand right is typically how I finish fights. In your next round, let's go back to main camera. In your next round, we're gonna add in a little conditioning. Hold on, guys. Let's go. Continuous punches, moving to your left. Keep going. Punch your shoulders. Continuous punches to your left. To your right, to your rear side. This is meant to not be incredibly hard, guys. We just want to work. One, two body, one, two, one, two. One, two body. Defense, let's go, counters, block those counter shots coming in, blocks, cover, snap back, pull back, move, come on, defend, now, slip left, three, duck right, two, slip left, three, duck right, Two, let's go. Move. Slip left. Three. Right. Two. See the difference in 
and release. It doesn't have to always be right away. You also don't want it to be paused every single time. Hard jabs. Let's go. To finish. Hard jabs. You know what I'm saying? Fun work. Good time. The beauty of these type of workouts is the more you go through them, the more you'll pick up. The more you pick up, the less you have to think, which is why boxing workouts are amazing because you do learn something every single time. Now we're gonna throw a jab and a two punch position. Then we're gonna work off that to start the next round. So it's jab, two punch combo to start this round. Your two punch combo, if you're a beginner, you can do straight punches. If you're more advanced, again, mix it up. Jab, two punches. You throw a jab, then you throw two punches. Defend. Again, we throw that right hand. You don't need to lean forward. Stay here. Whip it out there. You don't need to lean forward on the hook. Your range is. This is your range. You can open up this way. You have to step a little bit without doing this. It's better than sticking your chest out. Now jab. Three punches. One. Three punches. Beginners, jab. One, two, one. That still works. Jab. Two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. All straight punches. Advance. Just get after it. Jab. Three punches. Defend. Four is good too. Same side combo. Now, one, two, ba, ba. three punches. Jab cross. Three punches. Jab cross. Three punches. Move. Freestyle, let's go. Whatever you want. Time, go work. Alright, elevated. Moving pretty well. Good job, guys. Anybody else knows run? They train? Man, every time. Guys, running is, or boxing, is the best training, cross training ever for running. Almost all my runners that I train, 
marathoners, multi-sporters, they work their way up to earn uh, boxing workouts for cross training. So if you don't like running, just do heavy bag conditioning, I'm telling you. Heavy bag work, boxing work, shadow boxing, it's gonna improve your conditioning a lot. Let's go. I want you to left leave this lead hand down here, okay? And I want you to keep your right hand out from your body like this, okay? And what you're gonna do is work on counter shots with the hook and work on stepping in with the cross in a low hole position and a high hole position. So lead hook is low, cross is out and forward. So you can block shots coming in, you can see it, and it's, you can also throw the cross from a shorter position. So you're gonna throw a hook as the bag comes in. As the bag comes in, smash it, work that first. Hold it low, keep this in front. Keep this right hand here. Give it a push, catch it on the way in. Fast and whippy. Small step back. Again, strong contact. Now, you're gonna it forward and back as the bag goes away from you. I want to throw that cross. As it gets to an end, end point. So you don't want to throw the cross when it comes in here. You want to throw the cross when it's right there, signifying you're catching your opponent coming in at the perfect opportunity. With speed. That one's a sleeper. Work on your timing this way. Keep this hand low. The reason why you're keeping this hand low is because you're enticing them to come in. But you know what you do. So this back foot is strong and into the ground. You're not over rotating the rear hip. You don't need to do that. Your right hand is right here. You're throwing it this much. Now, whatever you want, with speed. Time. Great job, guys. So fun. We can't, if you can beat boxing, you can. Best sport in the world. Basketball is pretty good too, but you know. <laughs> Mr. Bauer, please slow down. I won't survive this. I appreciate that. Birdie B, you better get back at it. Stops is 2019. Let's go. You get the best workouts in the world available for you daily. Get in the best shape of your life in 2022, 2023. Come on now. What's your intention? Eliminate regrets. Let's do work. Come on. Let's do a tactical round, guys. You asked to slow down, let's do a tactical round. You're gonna get inside the heavy bag. What I want you to do is I want you to step to your lead side and throw an uppercut on the outside of the bag. So you're, you're gonna step, the side you're stepping to, you get pivot that the rear shoulder comes across the heavy bag, okay? You're inside, step over, right there. So you're actually missing on purpose to signify an angle change, put all that uppercut. Step left, pivot into it. You don't 
or rotate the hip, but make sure you get a good strong torso rotation. Okay, forearm, your elbow should not go past, stop as if your chin's hitting your bicep, your elbow should be running up your midline of your body, it shouldn't just be out here, it's a lot of sh the shoulder, but here you're protected. Now, we're going to go to your opposite side. So step to your left, come across, come across, step, lead uppercut to number five, step, lead uppercut to number five, scrape the bag, step over, one step you guys, don't, no fast, it's one step to your lead side, uppercut scrapes the bag, halfway through, okay, technical round, work on that. Okay, back to your lead side. Over here, step into your lead side again. What I want you to do is throw an up, rear uppercut, lead hook. So watch, step left, turn into this, miss the bag with uppercut, and then hit it with a hook. Step to your lead side, so you're to your jab side, step over, miss the uppercut. From there, from that position, don't move your feet, Cut into the bag, and that's where we finish. Over, upper, into the bag. Step, miss. What's happening here? Torso is in position. All you have to do is unravel with confidence and power right there, and the heavy bag stopping you from over rotating into this lead hand. Okay, it's a good drill. That's a good short on YouTube. How to control the distance of your lead hook. Like that. Nobody wants that. <laughs> Step, upper, finish the fight. Last one. Great job. Again, a technical round for you guys. Just slow it down a little bit and show you some different flavors you can put on the heavy bag, working different skills. We have one round to go, guys. Get your heart rate up a little bit. Yes, Birdie B, do some shadow boxing. I did a video where I compared shadow boxing to heavy bay, and I burned more calories shadow boxing than I did on the heavy bay, just to let you know. We have one round to go, you guys, and we're done. So what I want you to do is I'm gonna set the pace for you guys. Set the speed and the power. If you're here, again, I want you to set your intentions at beating me on the heavy bag, okay? We're gonna throw one, two, three, two, a good rotational combo, non-stop for a minute. Remember, outwork me at range. So long arms, let's go. Faster than me, with technique. Jab, cross, hook, cross. One, two, three, two. Put in work, guys. Put in work. If you're shadow boxing with Birdie B, it's right there. No excuses. Ever. Make do to push through. Thirty seconds. Cross, rear uppercut. Cross, rear uppercut. Cross, rear uppercut. We're home, guys. Freestyle, 30 seconds, hard work, let's Beat me. 
at this pace, all out. Ta 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 ta. You're beating that speed. We timed up the music. Three, two, one, rest. We're gonna go as hard as you can for 50 seconds. Three, two, let's go. Finish. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job, guys. That's a 30 minute heavy bag workout live on the Nate Bauer Fitness YouTube channel. Yes. Recover. I always say, make sure you enjoy this of today's workouts because a lot of times you'll do your workout and you'll forget how you before you started. It's okay to think about that and then remember how you feel now. It takes some time to take that again and push it into and you will be more efficient, more effective, more grateful because ultimately that's why we do this, right? Guys, if you have any questions, throw them out there while I'll continue with this beautiful day. Iggy Smalls, but that isn't that the idea? Guys, the idea is to put you guys in a space where you are uncomfortable. To put you in a space where you feel like you can't, but you will. So if you go to, when you go to the channel, the Nate Bar Fitness YouTube channel, you'll recognize that most of the world reason, 95 and they're designed so that them three times, you'll get significantly further attempted in most circumstances. If you're sick, of course, or you have an injury or something like that, it's clearly harder. But if you're further and further. That's why they're built like that. Memberships, it's important because there's still things to do in the studio. If you guys appreciate these workouts, which I know you ultimately do, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do that. It's important for me because it gets more daily views. More daily views means it gets to a broader audience, which leads to more memberships, more, again, more eyes on the workouts to join us all here. I want a thousand people to join us for these workouts and we can do that. But I need your help to do that. On this channel as a member, to help with the studio, to help fund these projects. As you know, guys, these are all really expensive. They're taxing, but I love it. So if, if you have the ability to do so, do that. And of course, you'll get access to ultimate interval heavy bag workouts, elevated heavy bag, hit, fight shape, live streams, master classes. We have live performances coming in the studio, a whole bunch of stuff. But more importantly, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you guys from joining me every single time, subscribing to video. Of course, I come out here, my nose runs when I work out. And I put it all on the line every time, not all on the line, but I make myself uncomfortable so you elevate, level up every single time you do one of these workouts. Great job today.